maybe we will take an example hmm? given some transform function hmm. can we find out the ah, sure hmm? sure i tried out something before hmm. so let's say h of us is very similar circuit 1 by S square plus three S plus two, mm. and uh, question is, what is the V naught of T if the input is delta of T? Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. I remember the impulse function. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so we will just try out and see what sure, happens. Sure. So uh, the output v naught of s yes. will be h of s into into the you know the Laplace transform, Laplace transform of delta of t, which is oh, which is one. One. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Ah. Okay. Oh, this is easy. Then yeah. output is just the h of s itself. Yes. Okay. I That's see. That's it. That's it. So maybe we should give a special name for this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So h of s was the transfer function. Exactly. But now it is also something special. Exactly. It is also the output you will get when the input is delta of t. Yes. So when we are applying this input. Yes. As, I mean, when the input is impulse. Okay. Whatever output we are getting. Ah, is h of s the transfer function itself? Correct. Which means you finally want v out of t, right? Yeah. So v out of t will now become the uh, Lap inverse Laplace transform of h of exactly, s. Exactly. Exactly. Shall we call it a small h of t? Yeah. Huh? Mm. So that's okay. We need to find a name for that also. Yeah. Okay. Shall we give it a special name? Please suggest. Mm. <laughs> So capital H of S was the transfer function, correct? Because we are transferring input to output. That's what we said. Yeah. Now in this case, we are trying to find out the output for an impulse input. Yeah. Impulse response. Impulse response is what we should call it. Yeah. Okay. So response corresponding to an impulse. Oh, okay. So small h of t, which yes. is the inverse Laplace transform h of S, yes. is the impulse response. Yes. Okay. Got it. Got it. Makes sense because if you give an impulse. The output is the uh, transfer, you know, uh, in the S domain it's is the transfer function itself. itself. So it I makes think sense. that's the beauty of it. That's very, very uh, beautiful. Very which beautiful. you can get only for the input. I mean, only when the input is impulse. Impulse. No other beautiful input can give. Beautiful. Yeah. Also, that way our job here became very easy. Correct. So v naught of t is just uh, like you said Laplace inverse of H of S of H of S, correct. So which is one by this one, correct. S square plus three S plus two, correct. Uh, which maybe we can represent it as uh, some A by ah. S plus one into S plus two. Sure. Yeah. Correct. correct A huh? by S plus one into S plus two. Correct. Plus B by S plus two. Correct. So, okay. <coughs> what we used to do? So, this is we have to find out A and B. Correct. 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 Okay. So, A by S plus two four S equal, equal to, to minus one. No? Minus one. Correct. So this we get. A equal to one. One. Similarly, B by S plus one for S equal to minus, minus two. two. Correct. So B, B is minus one. No? Minus one. Okay. Perfect. Also, oh, that's just uh, the plus inverse of. 
1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2. Correct, correct. Which is e power minus t. Minus t, correct. Minus e power minus 2t. 2t, correct. Oh, correct. So, nice. So, yeah. this is your output. Correct. Perfect. Okay, so but one thing what we learn interesting is this. Correct. So response. it is basically h of t, small h of t. Yes. Right. Yes. So correct. Okay. We can just write it there, small h of t, for our reference. Perfect. Again, students will learn more about this in a future in course. In future courses. Correct. Signals and systems. Signals and systems. So I think we got some idea about, uh, right? Yes. We have some circuit, a linear system. Correct. Um, we wanted to find out the output for any input that you are giving. Correct. So Correct. we need some function that mathematically represents the system. Correct. And what we sum to summarize that in the Laplace domain is capital H of S. Yeah. In the we call that the transfer function. Yeah. In the time domain, which is the inverse Laplace of H of S, we called it the impulse response. Correct. 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 Perfect. So, without Laplace transform, we would have tried uh, writing the yes equations Dif differential in, uh, equations. Differential equations. That's right. And break our head. Correct. Solving it. Correct. <laughs> then, since we know how to represent a differential equation in Laplace transform, I mean uh, uh, Laplace domain, uh, we could represent in this form. Things became a lot Things easier. Things became easier. There is something called a transfer function that is that you have learned new. Correct. Which is the function that relates between, I mean, it's a ratio of output to input, input. in Correct. DS domain. Correct. With no initial condition. With no initial condition. Correct. Then we actually tried for a circuit, the same sequence. We got the transfer function for this. Correct. Well, students could try maybe. Uh, for this value or c v of t, v naught of t maybe. And uh, like you said, when the input is delta of t, we actually got the inverse response. Correct. Basically, just tells us what the system it is. 